second class, Miss Mulroy here again with part two of the videos for uh, the tens and ones. Easter Bunny is still with me. Since the last time we met, Easter Bunny has done nothing but eat and eat and eat. Easter Bunny had 10 Easter eggs the last time you we were here. Now the Easter Bunny is down to just one. That's a clue to what the strategy we're going to be talking about this week. Okay, boys and girls, let's look at what we did last week, just to go over it and then we'll go to our new strategy. The strategy we used last week was, yes, it's this one, count on in tens. 6, 16, 26, 36, 46. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 1, 11, 21, 31, so on and so forth. So we're used, we used, I asked you to use that for maybe to do these sums, send them to your teacher. We also remembered that it's very important that we must say the sum first, then think about what we're doing and then check what we're doing. We use the empty number line to check. Now we're just going to do these. You can do them along with me if you like. Let's say the sum, tens and ones, let's say it. 35 plus 22, 35 plus 22. Let's count on in tens first. We're at 35, let's count on 20, 35. 45, 55, keep 55 in your head, think about that. 55 in your head, and we need only to count on two more. 55, 56, 57. I'm going to write down my answer here, 57. Then over here on my empty number line, I'm going to check that. 35, I'm going to put 35, you can put it anywhere. We're going to put it here so that it can go in that direction. We're adding, so we need to go that way. I'm going to put 35 here, 35. And I'm adding 22. What did I do first? I counted on in tens. 10, 20. I added 10 and I added 10. 35, 45, 55. That's when I added two tens. I was at 55 and I added two ones. Add two. 55, 56, 57. 57. I checked it. It's right. Well done. I hope you all got <clears throat> 57. If not, I know you'll get it right the next time. Now here's another empty number line for the next one. Empty number line. All right, I'm going to say this sum. 46 plus 23. <clears throat> I'm going to think. Okay, 46, and I'm going to add 23. I'm going to use this strategy, count on in tens. 46, add 20, 46, 56, 66. Now I'm at 66, I keep that into my, in my head. I'm thinking about 66. All I have to do now is count on the three more. 66, 67, 68, 69, 69. I'm going to write that down there and then I'm going to check it. 46, I'm going to put 46 here on the empty number line. This is me checking. 46, I'm going to add 20. 10, 20. Add 10, add 10. That will get me to, I'm not going to bother writing anything here. 46, 56, 66. This is the important number here. 66, and then, then all I have to do is add 3. 66, 67, 68, 69. 67, 68, 69. You do it that way if you like, and I get to 69. I was right. 69 is the answer. Okay, 13 plus 42. Here's my empty number line for this. Empty number line. Now, I'm going to do this one first. Now, I think 42, even though it's down at the bottom, it's the bigger number. So I'm going to start with 42. It's easier to add one ten than to add four tens. So I'm going to start with 42, because that's me thinking. I'm thinking about this sum. So 42, and add 10, easy. 42, 52. I'm at 52, now all I need to add is the three, because I'm adding 13, not just 10. 42 and 10, 42, 52, and then three more 52. 53, 54, 55. I think 55 is the answer there, but I am going to check it. Right. I started at 42, didn't I? Isn't that what I did? Yeah, so I'm going to put 42 here. 42, and then I'm going to add 10. That's what we did. We count on in tens. 42, 52. 52, and then I'm going to add three more. 52, 53, 54, 55. Add three, and I got to 55. Okay, nearly there. Here's the empty number line again for to check our last sum. Now, I'm going to say the sum, 58 plus 23. <clears throat> now, 58 is the bigger number. Here's me thinking about the sum. 58 is the bigger number. I'm going to start there, 58. 
easier to count on two tens than it is to count on five tens. So I'm starting at 58. I'm going to count on two more tens. 58, 68, 78. Okay, 78. I'm keeping 78 in my head. Now all I have to do is add on three more. 78, I think I'll use my fingers for this. Some people don't need to, I do. 78, 79, 80, 81. I get to 81. So I'm going to write that down, 81. And then I'm going to check it on my empty number line. Starting at 58, I'm going to put 58 there, okay? And I'm adding two tens, 58, 68, 78. I added 10 and I added 10. 58, 68, 78. Hmm. So I 58 and I added two tens. Now I have to add the three. 78, 79, 80, 81. I got to, I added three there and I got to 81. It's right. Oh, this one was right too, wasn't it? Well done. I hope you did well, boys and girls, and I hope that was helpful to you. Okay, boys and girls, now to our new strategy. The Easter Bunny had 10 Easter eggs. She's only got one left. What goes with one to make 10? Yeah, the new strategy today is making 10. I'll leave that up there to remind us, make 10. And we have loads of different ways. Of course, we have our fingers. We can always make 10 with our fingers, but let's look at our 10 frames. We're used to those. Zero and 10 makes 10. What would this one be? Five and five makes 10. This one. Okay, Six and four makes ten. Seven and three makes ten. Eight and two makes ten. Easy one. Nine and one makes ten. That's the one about the bunny, isn't it? Ten and zero makes ten. One and, it's a bit like this one, isn't it? One and nine makes ten. Two and eight makes ten. Three and seven, four and six. Okay, we've been learning those in school. It's well worth your while now, boys and girls, to go back over them. So we're going to use that strategy today to do some more tens and one sums. We're going to do, we're going to say it, we're going to think it, and we're going to check it. And I'll leave some sums in the picture at the end if you'd like to do them. Okay, try them out. So let's have a look at this sum. It may look, when I was a little girl and I saw a sum like this, I said, oh, that's too hard. Because I wasn't using my strategies. I'm going to add this number. That number is 37, and we're going to add 33. Now, what do I do first? I say the sum. 37 plus 33. Now I need to think. 37 and 3. Oh, 7 and 3. Let me see. 7 and 3. Yeah, they make 10. So I've made a 10 already. I'm making 10. I've made a 10 already. And then I've got three tens and three tens. 30. 40, 50, 60, and don't forget the 10 that was over here, 60, and one more 10, 70. I think the answer to that is 70. Now I'm going to check it on the empty number line. Let's think back about what we did. Um, I didn't, I'm not going to start at 37 this time. I put the 7 and 3 together first, didn't I? Because I realised they made 10. I was thinking and I realised they made 10, so I'm going to start at 7. 7 and 3, I'm going to make a 10, and I'm going to call it 7 plus 3. And that made a 10, so I'm at 10 now. And then I need 30 more 10, 30 more, and 30. And then I need to add another 30. So let me see, 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, that gets me to 70. Yes, I was right. Now do remember, when we have sums like this, they can also be written like this. 37 plus 33. Both of them are the same. I looked at the seven and I looked at the three. I said, yeah, they make a 10. That makes it easier because tens are a friendly number. Seven and three is 10. I've got three tens and one 10 and three tens. That makes seven tens and that's 70. Okay, boys and girls, I'm going to leave some sums here in the picture and I want you to have a go at them. Send them to your teacher if you'd like. Have a go and think about the strategy, make 10.